Hump Tangent day forecast. Over. What we got coming up? <laughs> the wow, hump day plum forecast. Cot. You know, the rest plum of the cot. week looks pretty good. All yeah. Right. Google plum cut while I we're will. doing the weather here. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful evening outside. Get on that, Yuki. Let's take a look outside <laughs> right now. Center City looking good this evening. This is a live look from the Parkway Central Library branch of the Philadelphia Free Library. Looking out toward Logan Circle. The fountains are on. People are out walking around enjoying what is a pretty nice July day. For July, you can't get much better than this. Temperatures hit 90 briefly today. That's going to be our high for the day. Now we're in the upper 80s. Nice afternoon to be outside. Some kids cooling off in the fountain there. Got to cool off any way you can on these hot July days, but at least the humidity is not quite as bad as it was yesterday. Checking in with our eyewitness weather watchers now, and again, they're reporting temperatures right about where they should be for this time of the year. We're looking at mainly mid to upper 80s, normal highs 87. Let's check in on the highs across the Weather Watcher network today. Now you can find your local weather watcher and kind of see if it matches up to what you saw at your house today. I lean up in Gilbert's Belt. Gilbert's got you 88 degrees. Bill in Levittown got to 90. Phil in Philadelphia Chestnut Hill at 87. Hit 91 at Bill's house in Cardington. Kenneth in Willingboro at 92. And Lou in Eagleville at 85 degrees. David 93. That's a hot one in Gloucester Township. Not much of a breeze today as Phil shows us the flag wasn't really blowing at all. That didn't really help cool you down. But sometimes the sun went behind the clouds and that helped make things feel a little bit a little bit cooler at least. Lynn shows this shot of a beautiful blue sky. Love this drone shot from Lou showing just a few patchy clouds out there today. And Wayne took this opportunity to head out and do some fishing. Looks like he got a pretty good catch there at Lum's Pond. Let's check in on temperatures right now. Not on the Weather Watcher Network, but currently across our region, we're seeing mainly mid to upper 80s. It's 91 in Wilmington, 91 in Millville, 84 in Wildwood, and the ocean water temperature is 70 degrees. And dew point wise, it's not too bad. The dew point, of course, measures how much moisture is in the air. The higher the dew point, the more moisture there is. The current dew point is 57. That puts us right in between very comfy and not bad. Not a bad place to be. Again, it's not as dry and beautiful and refreshing as this past weekend was, but yesterday we were more in the steamy range, so we will take it. Storm Scan 3 showing clear skies out there. Not much going on. We do have the chance for a couple of pop-up showers. They're more like pop-up sprinkles. There's not going to be much with them. You can see I have one little one here that is now fizzling along the border of Ocean and Burlington counties. Not seeing much else. And as we go through tonight, again, few and far between. Here's what that looks like. Notice a couple of sprinkles could try to pop, maybe even so small they're not going to be detected by the radar. 8 o'clock, a shower possible down across South Jersey. And they'll be around through the overnight hours as well. This is about 4 a.m. Again, they're light, they're spotty. That's about all we got to talk about here in the forecast, which isn't bad, especially for this time of the year. Stray one here Thursday morning and then by noon, 2 p.m. You can see a few showers down across South Jersey and Delaware. North and west suburbs of Philadelphia should be dry really through the day tomorrow. And Friday looks like a sunny and pleasant day. So Chris passes by offshore. That storms out of here. High pressure wedges in for the end of the week, and it's a pretty quiet end to our week. That stray shower tonight or tomorrow. Very seasonable temperatures, but the one thing we've really got to watch out for, we've been talking about it all day and all week, those rip current risks at the beach. If you're headed down the shore, be safe in the water. Chris is really churning things up out there. Overnight, mainly cloudy, an isolated shower or thunderstorm in one or two spots. Most areas don't see much. 69 will be the overnight low. Tomorrow, sun and clouds. Again, a stray sprinkle, especially from the city on south. The high 85 degrees for your Thursday, which is right on par for the time of year. You see what I did there? That takes us right into the golf forecast. And Friday looks like an eagle. It's a hole in one kind of day. Beautiful day to get outside. I'm going to go with birdie for Saturday and Sunday as well. It's going to be a little hotter and a little more humid, but that never kept any golfer I know off the golf course. So I'll tell you, the weekend looks pretty good to hit the links. And I hope Yuki's taking notes here. 88 degrees on Friday, then we're back to near 90 this weekend. Low 90s Monday and Tuesday with better chances for afternoon thunderstorms. Yuki and Jessica, back over oh, to you. I'm All going. Right, hey. And when I go, I'm going to take some plum cut. Yeah. Right. I did some research. Keep you hydrated and filled up. Yeah, yeah, definitely research it. Good energy. Very nice. Well, Chris